You know, and as a kid, my grandfather uh, had a famous phrase that he would always say, which was, laugh before seven, cry after 11. If you had gotten so hard into the booze, into the whiskey, into the Miller light there in the basement before 7 p.m., then guaranteed by 11, your night would not be going as well as it should be. And so for those of you folks here who are politically celebrating your win here and what we should be looking at as the top of the sixth inning here, ladies and gentlemen, none of us, none of these single states have certified the election. The election must be certified under certain penalties. There are certain legal challenges to go. The fact that 300,000 ballots in Pennsylvania were processed without a single Republican witness to the count is enough. And we already have two judgments from the Pennsylvania Supreme Court, which have yet to kick in. So expect legal challenges in every one of these battleground states. Expect that this battle that we're going to see here in Georgia, uh, the runoff of these uh, senator uh, of the senator races is going to be neck and neck. It's going to be all eyes on for those of us who have been listening to either Iron Brigade here or Whiskey and the Surfer. We know that as soon as you saw the pictures of the massive rallies juxtaposed against the minimally attended circles, that in the same way they broke the brains of the left in 2016 is the opportunity now to break the brains of the right here in 2020. You've been given a choice now to either fall into a pit of depression or continue in your God-given right to be a confident, positive person, allowing for the confidence in your nation and the processes on board that the good guys will continue to be the good guys the bad guys will continue to be the bad guys. The media who has said from the beginning, Hillary Clinton is gonna win, just accept it. It was stolen from Hillary Clinton, just accept it. Donald Trump is a Russian spy, just accept it. Kavanaugh is a serial boofer, just accept it. Oh, he's impeached and we have him dead to rights on a perfect phone call. Folks, you have to accept it. COVID, the stats flip-flopping, masks, no masks, believe science, don't believe science, dancing in the street is good, going to church is bad, just believe us, we're the media. And here's the election. We all came out and in lockstep said, this is the winner. The pyro goes off in the background and not a single state has been certified. So we have the certification process, we have the legal challenges process, and so again, congratulations to you folks celebrating in the streets. I pray that it remains a peaceful celebration and we should pray for the soul and the safety of our nation, that it does not descend into riotous and mob violence because the National Guard and the federalized police no longer have a quote unquote election to be nice behind. If they, if they need to start cracking heads, ladies and gentlemen, then heads will be cracked. Understand that that is going to happen, all right? So we have this lame duck process now where all of these legal challenges are gonna go, the counts and the recounts, and uh, finally the certification. And then comes the faithless or faithful elector process. Do the people involved actually stand up and then follow the mandate? So there's gonna be all of this, there's, you have the, they have the voting process, you have the illegitimacy and the legitimacy of the voting process, then it moves to certification, then you have the legal challenges, then it goes to the electors from the electoral college, right? And then it'll go to the Supreme Court and then it'll get kicked back to the House where the Republicans have a 26 to 24 advantage. So again, laugh before seven, cry after 11 there are so much and so many individual pieces that need to go and ultimately if you look at the media's business it's to keep eyes on it's to continue to inflame rhetoric it's continue to have you clicking and following and clicking and following because their profits must maintain themselves 
or there are going to be many, many journalists and activists and corporations who are going to be out of business because they have hung their entire business model on one single Donald Trump. Again, every single process has to carry itself out. This is not the end of the ball game. For those of us in the baseball world, it would be it'd be a shame. It would be a shame to watch some team celebrating on the mound, piling at, at the top of the sixth inning. You might go, well, that's strange. We still have three innings to go. It's the guy who's celebrating on the green at a golf tournament who then has to go in and then sign and certify his scorecard. And if there's something not right on a scorecard and he certifies it, guess what? They lose because that those are the rules. The media doesn't call this. I don't call this. There's enough proof of voter fraud and disenfranchisement of your vote across all 50 states to have challenges. Donald Trump has not yet conceded. And so wouldn't it be an awful and a also hilarious visual to see the media celebrating, the streets celebrating, Joe Biden's clone and Kamala Harris on their stage in front of empty Jeeps, the pyro and the, tech and the technics go off in the back. What a visual to play juxtaposed against our laws being enforced. And again, the good guys will continue to be the good guys. The bad guys will continue to be the bad guys. The media will continue to ask that you accept their illusions all the way from 2016, all the way to the illusion that they're putting in front of us today. And it's your choice to buy in or not. It's your choice to take this glass of media poison and drink it every day. It's your choice to look at your fellow man as an other, to look at your fellow man as an enemy, or it's your choice today to say, it's a little early to be celebrating and God willing. And I believe that if you laugh before seven, you're definitely going to cry after 11 because again, top of the sixth inning, we have not even gone into extra innings yet. And do not be surprised that for those of us in a competitive business, be it sports or athletics or the entertainment business, that the, the pre-celebration of the participation trophy generation should just sit back and just enjoy it for the show that it is because it is a show. The media has clowned themselves. The good part of the media clowning themselves is that independent media is now exploding. That, that the, for all of us, thank you for sharing the stuff on Facebook and following along in the minutia and understanding that we are a long way away, a long way away from this finally being decided. And if it goes through every single legal process, then God bless you. President-elect Joe Biden, future president-elect when they run his ass out on the 25th Amendment, Kamala Harris, God bless you. But then here comes the political retribution for those people who stood against the state. We know what they did to the Tea Party conservatives in retribution. We know what they've done to people as far as the cancel culture. We know what has happened over the course of histories in societies where they've had elections where no one could believe the results of the election. We talked about it before. If they're following the Norm Eisen Orange Revolution playbook that they ran in Ukraine, then the election that they open believes gets a revote. If they get a revote, that's the next step of that process. Two revolutions later from that, we have armed militants killing people in the streets. So again, they're following a certain playbook. You should be aware of it. Allow the celebration to go. But as patriots, as people now in the MAGA community who are watching the GOP gladly lay down and get back into bed with their DNC and media corporate snakes, know that. The same way that your blue mayor stood down, your blue governor stood down, the blue DA stood up and just charged you for no reason, folks. You are going to need to prepare today and now for an eventual coming for you to defend your very life, your very liberty, and defend your home. So buy guns and ammo, get some, get some canned goods, get some gasoline, and keep the faith. Laugh before seven, cry after 11. We win this. God wins. God bless America.